Hi guys, welcome back. So let's repeat that last sentence. Although it's possible to read them one at a time, the story makes more sense when both sides are open together.、Mm. So one at a time is when each one of a group of things follows after the other in order.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So for example, in golf, players take their shots one at a time. That's right. Yeah, they don't both hit the ball together. They、mm -hmm. go one guy plays, then the next guy plays, and then the first guy plays. Or if there's three or four in a friendly game, they all go one at a time. We can also say one after the other.、Mm、hmm. Absolutely. For example, we also have this、uh, phrase "makes make sense. sense." Yeah. Something makes sense. It's something you can understand quite easily. If someone is speaking in the same language as you, the, the same language that you speak, well, most of the things they say will probably make sense. If that person is speaking Russian or a language you don't understand, you'll say, "I don't understand." It's not making sense. It's not something that's easy to understand. Let's get back to the article. It says the story in this book, The、mm -hmm. Doors, has no text. Only pictures, and lets readers find their own meanings in the illustrations. Wow, it's different in this way too. Yeah, because it's a book with no text. When we talk about text, this noun it's spelled T E X T. Text. Basically, this word means writing. All right, if you're writing things on a piece of paper, that's text. If you're reading a book, that's text. The writing in a newspaper, magazine, or even on a website. If it's an article with sentences, paragraphs, words, letters, you are reading text. So it's kind of a picture book. Yeah, basically only、this. pictures. A book without any text would be a picture book, but、mm -hmm. with text, you'll be reading at least something. For example, we could say this science textbook has many pictures and diagrams to help students understand the text. So the pictures and the words, the text, work together to make it. Makes sense. That's right. Now we've used the word drawing.、Mm -hmm. It's a picture book, drawing pictures, and pictures. Drawings,、yeah. We can also use the word illustration.、Mm. That's a noun. It's spelled I L L U S T R A T I O N.、Mm -hmm. Illustration and illustration, as we kind of said, it means drawings and pictures. Almost always those that are found in books. Yes. Okay. So if sometimes、uh, in a children's book you might have lots of illustrations.、Mm -hmm. In more of a, a grown-up novel. Novel, you might not have any at all.、Right. Some might have an illustration at the front, or maybe、mm -hmm. one or two.、Mm -hmm. uh, one place you often find them is on the cover of、mm. the book, the cover art. That is an illustration. So we could say the writer found a talented young artist to do the illustrations for her new book,、ah. and just go, okay, great, we're going to write that, and we call the person who does that an illustrator.、Mm -hmm. That's right. An illustrator is someone who draws pictures. Basically, they're not taking photographs. They're using pens, paints, something、mm -hmm. like that to draw or paint pictures. Generally, for a book, that's the kind of thing you would find in a book or in a comic book. In fact, when we talk about comic books, often the illustrator just draws the black outline of、mm -hmm. all the pictures, and then someone else will fill in the colors, and then someone else will write in all the, the little letters. The text, kind of cool, yeah, that kind of cool. Comic book style, but the illustrator is often one of the more important or more well-known、mm. comic book creators. That's right, because they're the ones who come up with the look and the style and the movement of all the characters, translating that into、mm -hmm. a picture or an illustration. Illustrators. Illustrate. Yep. So let's look at what the illustrations in this book、yeah. are. It says behind each door.、Mm -hmm. So the doors are on the front. Remember, behind、mm -hmm. each door is a picture of a house and、okay. the man who lives there.、Ah. Okay. So okay. you open it and you see there's the house. What's inside? There's、right. the man who lives there.、Okay. The article explains a bit more. It says one、mm -hmm. Nick lives in the modern age, the time we live in. Yeah, now. right now. Okay. At, while the other Charlie is a Victorian gentleman. Oh, so we'll explain that in just a moment. First, we're、mm. going to look at the word age, age. Now, here we don't mean how old we are.、Mm -hmm. Here, age is being used to talk about a particular period of history. So we've said the modern age. So、yes. now we could also say the Stone Age when people use stone tools.、Yes. The Middle Ages,、yes. which was、uh, kind of the fifth to the fifteenth century, or the Victorian. 
Victorian age. So Victorian.、Mm -hmm. Victorian is a period of British history.、Mm -hmm. That's what we generally consider it. When Queen Victoria was the Queen of England, and、uh, until just a few years ago, she was the longest reigning or longest ruling、uh, British king or queen. So she lived, and she was the queen for quite a long period of time. And、mm -hmm. this was also the period of time when Britain was probably at its most powerful around the world. They controlled many parts of the world. India, Australia, Canada were all parts of the British Empire at that time, and it was also a time of great progress: new science,、mm -hmm. new technology, growing cities and factories. And Britain really was sort of like maybe America today, the most powerful country in the world. So that's why we give her name, Queen Victoria. To this time period, the Victorian age. If you think of the old Sherlock Holmes books, not the modern ones where he's got a cell phone, but the old ones where he smokes a pipe and rides around in carriages, that was the Victorian age. Or think of the age of the the cowboys and Indians in America.、Mm -hmm. That was also happened around the Victorian age. It's basically from 1837 when she became queen, when she was still very young,、yep. until 1901 when she died. So you can see that's a period. Of more than sixty years, it's a long time, and that's why that time period is the Victorian age. The article continues. We get a glimpse of each man's daily life. Glimpse is spelled G L I M P S E. Glimpse, and a glimpse is a brief look at something, often one that only shows us part of the picture rather than the whole thing. For example, I caught a quick glimpse of the teacher's answer sheet before he closed his book. Now, when we use the noun glimpse, we can use several verbs to go before it. We say get a glimpse of something, have a glimpse of something, or Catch a glimpse of something. So you can use any of those verbs, and you can also say someone. I caught a glimpse of someone as he moved past quickly. So you only see him for a short time. Okay, and the article continues and says, when the men return home from a walk and enter their homes, however, they somehow switch places. Wow! So not only do they switch or change homes,、mm -hmm. but they also might even be changing places in time. Oh yes! How cool is that? To switch here, it's a verb, of course, and it's spelled S W I T C H. When it's used as a verb, it talks about changing one thing for another thing. So if you come home and you take off your black shoes and put on your white basketball shoes, you're switching your shoes. You're changing one thing. For another thing, very, very directly, we can use it as a noun. Here, of course, it is being used as a verb. For example, can we switch chores? I'll wash the dishes if you take out the trash. Yeah, okay,、right. I'll go with that. So, if we're switching, that gives you the idea that originally Pat was supposed to wash the dishes,、mm -hmm. I was supposed to take out the trash, but we've switched. We've traded. A、okay. for B. Yep. Now both men are scared to be in a different time. Like、mm. they walk through the door, like, oh, what? How, why am I in a Victorian house? Why am I in a modern house? That、mm, kind of thing. That is very strange. And they kind of start to run away. But as the article says, with the help of Charlie's niece Mary、mm -hmm. and Nick's dog. Okay, they start to relax and explore their new world. So、mm. they try to run away, but the door, the, this niece, this girl, or the dog, they kind of grab them and say, "Like, no, stay." And then、mm. they start to go, "Okay, what's here? What's in this new world that I'm in?" Very, very interesting. Okay, back in the article, it says they seem to enjoy their experiences. Wow, and prefer their new lives to their original ones. How unusual! I guess at first it would be kind of cool to travel in time. The modern guy gets to go back to Victorian London, and the Victorian guy, of course, would be amazed at all the new technology and science of the modern time that we live in. And it seems that they really like this. Time travel vacation, I guess you could call it, because we know that because it says they prefer something to the other thing. They prefer their new lives to their original ones or to their old lives. When you prefer A to B, when you prefer something to another thing, that means you like the first thing more than the other thing. All right. So if someone asks you, which do you like more, tea or coffee, you might say, Oh, I prefer tea to coffee. 
That gives the person the idea and it gives them the information that you like tea more than coffee. You like the first one more than the second one. It's a very easy and convenient way of telling people your choices, your preference, or the things that are your favorites. For example, we could say, hmm, I have two places to go for my holiday, but I prefer Hawaii to Australia, so I think I'll see you in Hawaii. All right, let's get back to the article. Okay, so if you look at the pictures in this book, you、mm. can see that they're checking out the new technology or the old technology. They're、mm -hmm. looking at the sky. They're、mm -hmm. walking in their local neighborhoods. They're experiencing the food、right. of this different time, and they decide they kind of like it.、Mm. Now, what happens next is interesting because, as the article says, the book concludes. Leaving the reader to guess what happens next. Wow! So they don't go back to their own times.、Mm -hmm. They never meet. So when the book ends, we kind of go, okay. So what happens to these guys?、Mm. We just don't know. So the reader can kind of make up their own story about where it goes. Now, in that sentence, we use the verb conclude. C O N C L U D E. Conclude. To conclude means to end or to finish something. Okay, so we could talk about when something concludes. That means it's over. It's finished. So when a book concludes, you've reached the last page.、Mm -hmm. We could also say the speaker concluded his talk by thanking everyone for coming to listen to him. Okay, so that's that's kind of where it leaves it. Interesting. You know, these two guys have changed places.、Mm -hmm. They're happy. Yeah. Because actually, if you go back and look in the book, they didn't seem too happy at the start. Ah, I'm sure、their、they're very confused and surprised. Well, not just that.、Mm. Even in their original lives, when、oh. they wake up in the morning, they're kind of like. Hey,、uh -huh. It's another day. Sure, nothing interesting. They're not smiling. They're just、mm -hmm. going through their normal activities. But by the end, they're actually smiling. They're looking around at the world. They're kind of enjoying themselves. Cool, which、um, is interesting.、Yeah. So we're going to talk in day two a little bit more about what does that mean? What is the meaning of this book and、mm -hmm. the idea behind it? That's for day two. Right now, we're going to go to today's for you chat question.